He's in with the well-established, very accomplished Mexican Julio Cesar Ceja, who's been an excellent campaigner amongst the lighter weights over the last 12 years or so. We remember him for his trip to Doncaster many years ago against Jamie McDonnell. He's the former WBC Super Bantamweight champion. And oh, how good shot. about that for a start from Magsayo? Well, we wanted something special and we might just get it within the opening 30 seconds. Julio Seja on his backside and Maxayo exploding into this one. Biggest test of his life. And he has started on a mission here. Firing in body shots as well. And Manny Pacquiao watching his compatriot backstage. Pacquiao, Maxayo's hero, who he's looked up to his whole life. And now he's at the better variety, he's finding the gaps better. I think physically he's stronger, you see him there, he can manhandle him a little bit. Blood from the nose of Magsayo, and oh, a body, body shot. shot was lovely from Sayer, definitely felt that. Did Magsayo, and Sayer will smell that, he'll know. He'll feel it in there, right hand. He's looking very powerful here, Julio Seja. Can Magsayo cope in the heat of battle? I mean, Magsayo's certainly having success himself, but I think what's really impressive probably the most from Seja is he knows when to stick Nick a breather, when to take a rest, and he knows when to open up. Good body shots, good uppercuts. Penetrating the defense of Magsayo, who's trying to keep Sayer off him. Another body shot with the left hook from the Mexican. Yep. Sayer hurting Magsayo. Oh, oh down he goes. Magsayo. Clapperboard came in. And the bell will save him here, the young Filipino. But it's been a torrid round as Julio Seja has shown all his aggression and his quality. Yeah. Well, that was a big round, big, big round there from Seja. You know, it was a short left hook which caused the knockdown, but that came as a result from the good body work that he put in. He was landing those left uppercuts up the middle, into the pit of the stomach. He was touching him upstairs, switching it around the back of the elbow. There was great variety coming from the body shots. And then as a result of the work he was put to the body, he landed that short left hook upstairs, got the knockdown and big, big round for Seha, 10-8. And, you know, you have to say the momentum with him in a big way here. Well, he's finding out all about from Maxayo. Who on your card, Matt, has work to do. Three judges at ringside, Max Toluca, Lisa Jampa and Don Trella. Yeah, I mean, there were, there were, were a couple of rounds on my card that were close-ish that I went to Seha, but other than that, I think Seha's, you know, been quite dominant. He's boxed well, hasn't he? Yeah. Especially after the knockdown that Max Sayo can burst into life. Just leaning down on Seha there. Crowd getting excited. That's what you need to see from Max Sayo, don't you? Has he really quick away? and a right hand has laid out Julio Seha. And it is over. Knocked out Julio Seha after a brilliant attempt at taking out Mark Maxayo, the Filipino. To the stricken Julio Seja, as the medics tend to him. And Maxayo with a thunderous knockout, and quite rightly being told to mute the celebrations because that was a heavy...